Zoom recording. So this is a meeting of the Southwick Public Library Board of Trustees. It is January 19th at 7 p.m. So if somebody wants to call us to order. Okay, like let's get started and we'll start with public comments. Uh, just a quick reminder, if you if you call, just we'll do a roll call real quick and then oh, yeah. uh, if you, um, anytime you, you make a motion or whatnot, just say your name. So if we want to just go through really quick and do a roll call. Okay, Michael. Oh. Suzanne Amy. Davis. Maria Gallo. Uh, Carol Tracy. Garrick. Uh, Tracy. Okay, so I think that was everybody. So um, as Mike said, public comments. I see no one. No, I don't see anyone. <laughs> We'll um, move on to communications. Yeah. So um, we have been busy. I mean, it's it's nothing like it used to be, but we've been we've been moving along pretty good, all things considered. Um, we're having a staff meeting tomorrow to check in. Uh, there's just a couple things we need to go over one more time, just to check in and see how everybody's doing, um, and and anything that comes up. Um, we've been doing our staff meetings over Zoom now, which seems to work really well for people who, <laughs> for people who aren't working at that time, it's kind of a pain to come in and go home. So it seems to work really well for us. We usually do about an hour and then, then we're good. Um, we are starting to work on summer reading planning. We don't know what it's gonna look like. So we're kind of planning for virtual and or in person, um, planning mostly virtual, but then hopefully, you know, if we're able to, we can transition a couple of things to in person. Um, we are, we aren't going to be able to do the same type of kickoff that we normally do on a Saturday, um, but we did get permission from uh, the school to, you know, we were thinking of doing some type of drive-by thing. We are working on that. Carol's got a happy friend there, it sounds like. Um, I'm working on the town report this week. It's due February 1st, I believe, or the beginning of February. So I'm working on that this week. Um, it'll be a lot different, um, but I'm hoping to highlight some of the really important things that we've been doing over the past year uh, because of COVID. Um, a quick update that the union is working on their negotiations um, as their contract ends at the end of June. Um, and we still have, uh, one open position, uh, for the coordinator of children's services. And, um, we have one of our staff going on leave, um, the, in the middle of February. So we are just trying to get as much done as we can. We be coming back right when we want to kind of begin summer reading. So. We are just working on getting some things ready. Um, and that is it for the communications from myself. Okay. How about the minutes? Motion to approve. Move to approve, Suzanne. Tammy seconds. Yay. Okay, we'll do a, a roll call of approving them then. Uh, Michael, yes. Yeah, me. Sorry. Carol, yes. <laughs> Tracy, yes. <laughs> Suzanne, I guess yes. Maria's yes, I guess. It makes you unanimous. <laughs> okay. Move on to the uh, director's report. Um, so obviously, you know, things aren't what they were, but, um, overall, some of the things have been pretty impressive. I would say the, the total for curbside, um, at the very bottom right, uh, 961 so far from the middle of September has been pretty good. I think that's, that's pretty impressive. You know, it takes a lot of time to get everything ready to go and running in and outside. So it seems to, it seems to be pretty good. Um, 
And, you know, obviously our, our door numbers are down and everything. It's, you know, as whenever the cases are high, it gets very quiet. But we still do a pretty good, a good number of pickups outside. So there, there is still activity, you know, hopefully someday soon we'll get back to normal. <laughs> but the, those numbers, including the interlibrary loans and the number of transactions are, are impressive considering the place is closed. Um, and you're kind of doing this long distance. I thought they looked, I thought, I think that's worth pointing out to the uh, select board perhaps. Yes, yeah, I mean, we're, we're open by appointment. Um, so I mean, technically we're open, but mm -hmm. not, in, not in the same capacity as we were, yeah. we were before, but, but still, yeah, I think, I think those are very good. I mean, you know, there's, there was a day last week that we got five bins of interlibrary loan items. So we're still getting a good volume coming in. But. Which indicates how important the library is to the community. And we, we did get some very nice donations for the holidays as well. So that, that reflects in the, the gifts there. Again, you know, not as, not as much as last time, but you know, it's, it's obviously a hard time for everyone. So we're very appreciative of the people who, who were able to donate and thought of us. Okay. Do you have any additional questions or? We'll move on to old business. Okay. Um, I feel like I, I've had COVID on here for a year and we're not going to change it now. Nothing, <laughs> nothing really new to update um, the new governor's requirements about uh, decreased capacity. Not for us to worry about because we kept our capacity low from the very beginning. So we have just kept it easy for staff to just remember the limits and everything. Um, and by keeping our, our capacity, you know, what, what we set the limit as ourselves, um, keeping way under that 25%, then we've been doing just fine. We haven't had to change things, go back and forth. So we're going to continue with that. Um, and we've just been upkeeping with cleaning. Uh, the janitor has been fantastic. Um, we're just staying vigilant and following our procedures. And I think we've been very lucky so far. Um, and I am still working on the LSTA grant. Um, I, I, ran, I watched a webinar about it the other week um, and I, I need to start, start writing it. The draft of it is due in February and the final application is due in April. Um, so we are working, I'm working on getting some partners, um, getting some different ideas. Um, it will, the, the, the title of the one we're applying for is Pathways to Success. Um, so job searching, anything kind of along those lines. Um, they did say it's going to be a tough competition this year because they have more applicants than they have money for. But if we can make, write a really nice grant, I, I hope that, you know, we'll, we'll be considered for it. So. What kind of partners are you looking for? Um, I have, I, I, I roped Michael into it with the Economic Development Commission. Um, we have the, the Westfield Chamber of Commerce. And then um, I've got Mass Hire on board. Um, so we have those three to start. Um, there's a couple other, you know, similar, similar organizations that I'm gonna ask, but, um, and I, I will bother Mike I will be sending an email your way in the next couple of days because we need to, um, if we can get a nice letter from our partners to, you know, say that we're on board, that we support this grant. So I'll, I'll send you a little blurb of what we've got so far. And then if, you know, if the Economic Development Commission wants to, to write a letter in support of what we're doing, that would be especially helpful. <laughs> um, and I'm hoping to get uh, maybe the, the Chamber of Commerce or somebody else to do one as well. I think we need at least two letters of support. Um, but the nice thing is the grant itself is 7,500. Uh, you, can, you can request all of it. You can request a portion of it. They just recommend, you know, you know go, go for it all. You know, if you, that way we can pay for presenters, anything like that, um, more stuff for our business collection. Um, I think depending on the type we get, we would also potentially be able to, um, I've, I've been dreaming of putting up some type of, of barrier for like quiet study spaces. So that could potentially also fall under that category as well. I just have to explore it a little bit more. Or we have the option of, you know, as Mike said before, using state aid for that. So 
it might be just a good time to kind of bring that all in and Tammy does your job do anything with like that's what I do (laughs) Uh, I actually I just got someone a job but um we do supported employment for people with disabilities so I don't know if your partners need to be a nonprofit or not but we are a nonprofit what's what's the name of it Tammy Work Opportunity Center. Okay. Um, if you want, I'll email our um, our director about it to see, or if you could send me some more info, then I'll forward it to her to see what she says. Yeah, I'm gonna. I will make note to send you an email tomorrow, and then if, if she's on board, then definitely. Because we are opening a site in Westfield in a couple of months, so oh, we more frequently. Excuse me, more frequenting. Um, the library and community for job searching and things like that. Yeah, fantastic. I mean, if we get approved, um, we would know July-ish if we got approved for the grant, um, and then it would officially start October 1st. Um, So yeah, I will send you some information uh, tomorrow, and then just let me know what she says if she wants to be be on board and work with us. Fantastic. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And then that's it for old business. So if any, we'll move on to new business unless anybody has anything else. Oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, State aid updates, you know, um, I think I said last time they weren't expecting anything to come through until um, maybe in another month or two. They did, um, they are working and they did change uh, the requirements as far as open hours and material spending. Um, As you know, we have, we have our restrictions on, you know, you have to be open X number of hours. You have to spend X number of your budget on materials. Um, They did kind of, you know, they did did decide to not stick to those requirements hardcore this year um, because obviously many places are still struggling. Um, You know, they encourage you to keep spending, but, um, you know, they're not holding us to those requirements this year. So that's good news. Um, Ah, and it's that time of year. Did everybody get the budget I sent you? Yes. Yay. All right. (laughs) So um, we were asked to give three sample budgets, a 5% decrease, uh, level funded, and what we requested by department. So kind of our, our ideal budget. Um, the ideal budget, I, I did increase a couple, I mean, I, I, I don't know how, what the chances are that we would get it. I did increase a couple lines. Um, there were some things that we definitely need to increase um, like our maintenance contracts and um, our, our library maintenance. Bob usually recommends we go up two or 3% every year. Um, so that's in there as well. Um, and we did go up on our supplies because we, we have been pretty close year after year with the supplies line. Programs and informational. Um, and all, all three of these sample budgets, all three um, meet the municipal appropriation requirement, which is at the very top, which we have to meet for state aid. And um, all three of them, the informational materials line meets the required uh, 19% spending that our town, a town of our size is required to spend. Um, Level funded budget self-explanatory, I kept it as was from last year. Um, And I discussed with Mike about the 5% decrease budget. We really just don't think that there's, you know, if, if we we're so tight on so many things already as far as meeting the state requirements that if we were to take 5%, you know, we, we wouldn't meet, um, you know, there, there's only one category that I could feasibly take it out of, and that's the informational materials. And then if we were to do so, we wouldn't meet the state requirement of 19%. And basically that means we could either lose out on, you know, a pretty, a pretty decent size. I, I was speaking with the Board of Library Commissioners about what happens if we don't meet it. And essentially, you know, it depends on how much you don't meet it. If you meet it by 17%, you're considered, I think it's called mid-level compliant, um, and you do lose a chunk of your state aid. So, I mean, 
I don't know if the Board of Library Commissioners will be as flexible next year with the spending and kind of waiving the requirements. I, it's not a risk that I'm willing to take as far as losing our, our state aid money or anything like that. Um, so for the, the 5% decrease budget, um, I, I kept it the same as level funded. The only thing I did change was uh, the informational materials to be a flat 86,000. So that way um, we're still above the 19%. I think it's like a, a couple hundred above the 19%. Um, I, I don't know what you recommend because in that case, our, our budget from the 5% discrete and the level funded, we'd only be, the only difference is $820, which I don't, I don't know what you, what you would prefer. I mean, I'd like to, I'd like to at least make an attempt to try to cut our budget. You know, I just, I'm afraid of cutting it anymore and not meeting the state requirements and, and dealing with all the, <laughs> all that comes with that. Considering the demand the past almost year now that we've been closed, I don't know that there's any justification for trying to cut it. Okay. Um, like I said, we're not, we're not open on a regular basis, but you know, people are still coming in. People are definitely dealing with the instructional materials. Um, it's kind of self-defeating to try to cut 5%. Yeah. Because we lose more than 5%. Mm. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, what I could do- a very good letter, incidentally. I'd like- to look Oh, yes, I, 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 that as well. I, I, I felt that we needed to have some type of explanation as to, you know, why- yeah. Why we are thinking the way that we're thinking just because I, you know, and I was, I was talking with the accountant a week or two ago and, you know, she didn't know about the, you know, the 19% requirement. And so I just, you know, I want to be very clear to the board that, you know, this, you know, we're not, you know, we, we have requirements to meet as well. We're not as flexible as other departments are in the town in terms of, of you know, state money and mm -hmm. those requirements that you just mentioned. So I could I could either leave the five percent decrease line as it is with the info materials at eighty six thousand, or I could I could make it the same as level funded and just have it as eighty six eight twenty. I mean, either either way, we are still above what we need to meet. So I would I would support it as all three. I I think they'll probably go with the level funded, honestly, but. At least you're giving them something so that it kind of appeases them. Okay. I don't know. I agree. Okay. No. Agreed. Yep. Okay. So I will I will leave everything as I have submitted it uh, right now. So that's that. And everybody, the, the letter makes sense. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's that's a good thing. Okay. Yep. Okay. Good. But I was where I tried. We, we I try not to be too technical, but you know, hopefully it. it and works. another thing to consider, be just because the schools have been semi running the way they're running, um, that probably in the future is going to affect library usage as well. I, my guess is it will increase a lot once people go back in. Great. So if, if everyone is in support of the budget, um, I will submit it as I have it written, as I, as I showed it to all of you, um, with that, that slight decrease in the info materials line for the 5% decrease. I don't know if you guys need to officially vote on it. I would say yes. I would say yes, too. Yes. There's a motion yes. to submit the budget as is. Yes. Did somebody make that? Or did you, I'll make that motion. Okay. Or did Maria just make that motion? No, I'm suggesting the wording. That's all. Second. <laughs> and the second? Oh, I'll Suzanne second. I'll second. <laughs> the motion and it sound, I think it was Tammy who seconded. No, okay. Tracy. Okay. Tracy. 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 Doesn't matter. <laughs> Whatever. Everybody sounds alike on here. <laughs> I know. And then, um, and then why vote? is Carol so quiet? Yep. Is she still with us? Oh, I'm here. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Just checking. Taking it all in. <laughs> and we need a vote. Is it unanimous or? Yes. Yes. Tammy yes. says okay. yes. 
Yes. yes. Okay, it's unanimous. <laughs> okay. And then um, the last thing we had on here was um, the circulation job description. I think the last time it was updated was 2011, which is almost 10 years ago now. So um, I, I would, we did go through it. I did change just a few things, um, a, a few wording in a couple places. Um, Basically, the, 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 the major thing that we decided to redo was um, just to add, add more of an emphasis on, um, I, I think curbside is going to be here for a very long time. Even if things go back to normal, I think people like the ease of it. Oh, yeah. so I think we're going to keep doing it. Um, so I, I, I was hesitant to put too much of the COVID-related changes in the job description because who knows what things are going to look like. Um, but I did, I did make a change, one, two, three, four, the fourth paragraph down, um, you know, taking requests for items over the phone, requests for pickup. Um, I did put in here assists in providing curbside service to patrons by just basically getting things ready. Um, I wasn't sure how long we are going to be taking appointments for people coming in. I did include the line that says monitors the phone to schedule patrons for computer and browsing appointments when applicable. I, I feel, I, I don't know how much longer we're gonna be doing it, but it's such a big part of what they're doing now. It's, and it's a lot of work. So, I mean, I think the when applicable kind of- Yeah. That covers it, right. So, I mean, we could we could be doing this for another couple months. We don't know. But I think with the way the world is going, you know, anytime there's there's another type of, you know, any type of illness or something like this, we will we will probably revert back to all the kind of things that we've gotten used to right now. So I mean it may it may be helpful. I so I mean, I, I think that line is the most COVID specific thing I added in here, but um, yeah, I think the kind of the when applicable covers it. It's not always applicable, but. Well, I, I, I think it's good in terms of the fact if you, had an, if you had an opening and someone looked at the job description, if they don't want to talk to the public or they yeah. don't want to be on the phone, well, then maybe this is not the job for you. But that's a good point because a fair amount of what they're doing right now is talking to people on the phone. Now, do we have to run this by the union before or after lab labor council? Um, if you once you guys approve it, I will send it to the town, and then it will go through okay. the labor council and the select. Right. So. Um, if if you all approve of the the changes, nothing nothing too major, then um, I can get that process going. I make a motion to approve. I'll second it. Tracy. Oh, that's Tracy. Okay. <laughs> and Carol. And Carol. Sam right. says yes. Suzanne says yes. Maria's yes. Okay. Again, unanimous. <laughs> yep. <laughs> You guys are easy. <laughs> Great. And I, that was that was it for me. I will finish up the budget paperwork. It's due on Thursday, so I will get it in hopefully tomorrow. And oh. then we will go from there. Um, I guess the, the only other thing I forgot to mention about the budget, and I don't know if I included it in the letter. Either way, I will. Yeah. Oh, yep, yep. That, that how I calculated all the salaries and everything. I mean, unfortunately, we don't know. I, I calculated all the salaries. Mine is in a contract, um, but everybody else's I calculated with a 2% raise, which is generally what they do. So, and I, I can't calculate the budget without having the salaries in there, but accounting likes us to leave the salaries blank, but it doesn't work with our math, so. Yeah, it, it there are negotiations too, so that could change. Yeah, exactly. So if there are negotiations, but at least it's a place to start. So we may have to move little things around slightly if just to make sure we're meeting that 19%, but 
I mean, there's only so much you can do when you don't know what the numbers are going to be. So that's right. So that's that. I mean, and that's all that I have for tonight. We're very speedy. Okay. I think we got a few minutes faster each month. <laughs> I know. I know. Move to adjourn. <laughs>